Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Georgia. Big shout out to all my people in Georgia holding it down all the way from Macon. Yes, Macon in the house. Auburn in the house. ATL. All over Georgia. Savannah. All of y'all. There's so many damn counties I can't even name. But anyway, I know a lot of you all seen this story. And thank you to the subscribers because you all be on it. you like, Trey, you got to do this story. And I'm sorry for you all who's saying that I, uh he ain't got to my story yet. Damn, it's like a thousand some stories. You feel me? This shit happened every day. Oh, damn day. I ain't got that much time in the world, but I only got time for a few of them. So this one right here is going to be a doozy. Now, this guy, 18 years old, but he looked every bit 44 years old in the face. No offense to my men out there, 44 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure some of you all are still studs holding it down. Not that kind of stud, but still out there doing your thing. Big shout out to you all. When I say numbers, I throw numbers out there like the IRS and stuff. People be offended. Like, is he, is he, is he calling me ugly? Is he is he saying I'm not beautiful? No, I'm not saying that. It's just a jokey joke, like Martin said. But anyway, this boy, yes, no, not a boy, but you really this young man. But he was thinking on a child level because there's no way in hell that he was gonna get away with this dastardly deed right here. He decided the best way to get rich or die trying, not like Fifty Cent's rob and sell dope and uh go uh make millions of dollars off of movies and, and record sales. No, he wasn't that talented, I guess. But he was talented in a different damn way. He decided the best way to get rich was to sell fake ass Amazon products to people for a fee. Use it to steal their bank information because you know when you putting your uh, your Amazon stuff together, you got to put your credit card numbers and stuff. You got to put your password and stuff. If you don't get shit from Amazon, you don't know. So don't act like you do because we can tell the comment section if you do. Talk about, well, well, you got to give your social security number. Uh, No, you don't. But anyway, so he was using their bank account information and used that bank information to overpay on tax prepayments to the state of Georgia. Basically, a whole ass Ponzi scheme in the making. I don't know if his idols, it, well, it couldn't have been Michael Jordan. It couldn't have been uh, Tiger Woods, a golfer, or even a damn uh, Jerome Bettis football player. No, his idol had to be Bernie Madoff himself, the guy that was over Enron. Y'all remember about the Enron, especially my people in Houston, just messed up all the shit. All the people lost their damn jobs and stuff. You remember that big ass building they used to have downtown, Enron? Yes, Bernie Madoff made off with. Billions of dollars and stuff. And all kinds of strange shit started to happen. So I don't know his idol. If his idol was Bernie, it had to have been Bernie because the damn show wasn't Ernie. Anyway, now, his mom and his brother, but his mom said with the most biggest lie I ever heard, yes, because we're going to tell it just like it's supposed to be told. You feel me? And I will have my own uh network thing in the making. Just trust and believe. Just have faith for your boy because somebody need to tell the truth just like it should be told. We ain't got to get up here all tight in the ass and shit like our damn ass just tight as hell. It's supposed to be tight, you feel me? But at the same time, you know how some people be jumped up just all sedated. Just be yourself. Relax. Anyway, now, this, this, this guy, mom, said she didn't know, she didn't have a clue what was going on, but went outside and had a whole slew of car, a whole heap of vehicles outside, like had a damn seventy, eighty thousand dollars Hyundai Genesis. Yes, they got Hyundai's now they cost seventy, eighty damn thousand dollars. This is Genesis, and I'm joking, it's nice. Better than a damn Mercedes, if you want to be honest with you. Had a new Toyota Camry out there. Had like five, six vehicles. They had tow trucks lined up all the way from the gate, all the way to his damn house. Like, how in the hell did the mom say she did not know this and your son 18? And it's not like y'all stand somewhere way off in Bankhead some damn well. You know what I'm saying? Way off in Buckhead in one of these exclusive-ass neighborhoods or whatever they have. But no, you stand right here. It's a nice little neighborhood. But it, trust me, it wasn't no millionaire-type neighborhood. It's probably middle class like that. It was very nice. But how in the hell did you all not know that all these vehicles was purchased fraudulently, stolen with people's identity? And then not only that, he already had a warrant because he went to the damn bank and wrote an $18,000 check and got the money. So they already were looking for him for that. So he wasn't small timing at all. He said, the hell with that shit. The hell was standing on the corner trying to slang a damn dime bag, a nickel bag. The hell with trying to go in these stores and steal and rob. No, I'm going to get rich or die trying. And that was the motto that Charles Turner, 18 years old, even though he looked old in the face. And I'm sorry if uh, anybody that's offended by this. You should be offended by all those, all those people he stole from. Let somebody wipe out your damn bank account and see if you care about how somebody say how they look. You'd be glad. Anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story. And I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go, Georgia team. I don't know why they say team, but I guess 18. Georgia team, 18 years old, should be Georgia man. Tried to scam the state and customers of his business out of $28 million. Yes, $28 million. And guess what the mama would have said? They would have been in a mansion with a golf course, uh, 
Jay, Jay, Jaden Smith and Tyler, the creator, you know, they, they got their thing going on. They come over there together and everything. I'm sure Tyler not going to let Jaden out of his sight by himself. They come over there and stuff, and the mama still say, I don't know how he got that money. I don't know how he's rocking with celebrities and movie star kids. I mean, come on, let's be for real. Now, he tried to steal and scam the state out of $28 million by stealing his customers' information and using it to make his own tax payments. That's why you all got to go straight to the Amazon, go straight to these uh, business websites, and you will know it because they'll be, they have a, a certified marker on them. You don't need to go to these third-party websites, and so that's why you got to be careful because sometimes it be set up as scams. It be shit like uh, name uh, Direct Studios 10. Be like, and then come to find out, ain't no damn direct studio. Just somebody acting like they make media products and uh, multimedia solution applications. It'd be a whole scam the whole time, but they get your credit card information telling you, do you want to buy this new program or whatnot? You send all your information over the wire, and guess what? They wipe your whole damn account out in a, in a, in a shop never existed. These people are probably somewhere in the UK, probably somewhere in Georgia, or somewhere in damn Nigeria, because they got a whole lot of shit going on down there in, in Nigeria. Now, Charles Turner, 18 years old, look old as hell in the face, has been arrested for allegedly trying to scam 28 million out of people in the state of Georgia through the tax system. Yes, the tax system. He must don't know one thing about IRS. I couldn't even get it out. The I choked my ass right then. So let me say it right. The IRS, they are like the child support 2.0. They do not play. One thing you do not, you would rather have the feds on your ass and the IRS and, and child support. Trust me, them motherfuckers do not play. And excuse my French and my uh, English, if you will. Now, Turner is accused of running a business. Riverdale X, the X is unknown. You feel me? He tried to let him know. Look, look at shit unknown. That's what X mean, unknown. To steal bank information. He is said to have then used the accounts to make overpayments on Riverdale X's tax liability to the state and then request refunds to his personal account. And you did not think that these people was going to catch up with that shit? I mean, damn. I mean, damn. Even Bernie Madoff them would have seen that shit crooked as they was. And they stole billions. Now, a Georgia Department of Revenue investigator said the agency lost no money because they caught that shit right then. And he would have had it all good. Guess what? He was being greedy, even though it was wrong. If he would have just got a few hundred thousand here, a few hundred thousand there, he probably could have milked that cow for about a year or two. But no, he wanted to go up on there and snatch that whole cow, teeth in that cow, kick that pail over, and all the milk went everywhere, which means the milk is the metaphor for the money. So he was left what? What we call down south, assed out, no money at all. And also with his face plastered, yes, plastered all over social media. The investigation will take a look at the number of potential victims of Turner's so-called business and alleged attempts to gain access to state funds. He want them damn state funds. He don't want no welfare checks. He don't want no damn Section 8. He don't want no EBT card. He want that big money. He want that bucket of bucks. Now, a Georgia teenager has been accused of creating an elaborate scam. Yes, elaborate it was and dumb as hell at the same time to defraud people and potentially the state. Now, you can mess with the people money, but then you come for the state. Oh, hell no. Georgia said, hell no. You must have even heard that Pastor Troy song. Ain't no more playing GA. And potentially the state out of tens of millions of dollars through the tax system. He would have got away scot-free for a while. They would still call him if he wouldn't have decided to go big like that. I don't know if he thinking that he was on deal or no deal, but no, he don't get no deal. Now, Charles Turner, who just happened to be 18 years old and was uh, unluckily blessed with an older face, was arrested on Thursday at his South Fulton home where he had set up shop. Yeah, he set up shop like El Chapo to operate the $28 million scheme the Georgia Department of Revenue said and got GDRS mad. Like, how in the hell y'all gonna scam us? We do the scamming around here. Oop, I won't both say that. Uh, edit that out. Now, Turner allegedly created a business that was supposed to sell Amazon products for a fee, use it to steal bank information, and use that bank information to overpay on tax prepayments to the state of Georgia. He tried to take Amazon down, basically. He tried to get on the bandwagon. He was basically what we call on the internet these days, cloud chasing, following behind Amazon Lee. I guess he's seen all that money Amazon making and stuff like, well, damn, if he can do it, I can do it too. But guess what? I ain't got the damn resources of the products, but I got a mind. And guess what? It may not be that sharp, but I'm sure I can get something out of these people. That's exactly the notion, the thought that he went on. Then he would request refunds. That's what he messed up at right there. Like old, old man said, the cop said on Minnesota. Side, you know you fucked up, right? You know you fucked up, right? Now you said that 
you went to the store to grab liquor and then you dropped a bottle of liquor. And now you're saying that you didn't go in the store. You was right there by the door. You know you fucked up, right? I bet they were talking to him just like that. They probably called Bill in there, his damn self. Bill, what's his name? Bill Duke in there, his self, the guy from Peralta. You remember him? Now, then he would request refunds for overpayments for the gaming in electronics business to his personal bank account. Like, you ain't selling that many damn PS5s. I mean, PS4, PS5 ain't came out. You don't know why that's on my mind. You ain't sold that many PlayStation 4s and Xboxes and shit to be getting no damn $28 million. Who is your contractor? Who, who is your vendor? Microsoft? Sony? Square Enix? Let us know, please. A lot of y'all might be saying, well, damn, who, who's all of them? They are real companies. They're not like Riverdale X. Now, he actually set up a business set up with holding accounts and sell tax accounts. Kind of smart there, but kind of dumb, too, because you don't understand one thing. When you playing on this type of level, you got to have your shit in order. If they catch people like Bernie Madoff, a whole team of people that was up under him creating these scams, don't you think they'll catch your damn ass? You feel me? Now, he was overpaying by more than $25 million onto those accounts and then requesting refunds for those same amounts to be returned back to him in his personal checking account. And that's when the red flag went out. Like, hold on, hold on. How are you going to set up withholding accounts and sell tax account and overpay more than $25 million and then request that same money be refunded back into your personal account? This should go in your business account. People that have business have a business account. American Express, all that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You have a business account and you have your own personal account because you keep your business separate from your personal it sounds funny, but it's true. Anyway, now Georgia Department of Revenue investigator Josh Waits told a news station they got Josh on his ass. You feel me? You don't want a guy named Josh work for the government on your ass. At the end of the day, when he get through prosecuting your ass, you'll be saying, Osh, gosh, be gosh. Let's continue. Now, Turner allegedly ran the sham business. Yes, what a sham it was. Riverdale X, and the X is for what? Unknown. I think somebody said it right then. Out of the home, he shares with his mom. Now, he didn't run it out of a damn storage unit. Uh, somewhere in the hills of the Georgia mountains. No, he didn't run it out of his friend's uh backyard. He didn't run it even out of his shed in the backyard. No, he ran it straight from his mama house. You feel me? In where he lives with his brother. Apparently, unbeknownst to them. The hell it wasn't. I'm here to say, yes, it was. I'm dropping a down. I'm snitching. Yes, it was. You had to know that shit. That's just like if somebody pulled up in your damn yard and you know damn well this this ninja don't work, don't do nothing, and got a whole Mercedes outside. And in this case, a whole Hyundai Genesis and stuff. Yeah, Hyundai used to make some bullshit ass cars, but guess what? That's the old Hyundai. We these Hyundai's now are nice. The hell with what you all talking about. Go get you a nice ass Kia Hyundai. It'll last long that damn Mercedes. And notice one thing: the junkyard is full of what? Mostly Mercedes and BMW. There's a reason for that shit. Anyway, so how in the hell somebody pull up in a yard with a seventy, eighty thousand dollar car? And you don't think nothing wrong. Then they pull up the next day with a thirty, forty thousand dollar car, and then they pull up the next day with a thirty, forty thousand dollar Jeep. Then they pull up the next goddamn day with a thirty, forty thousand dollar another car. So five, six cars out there. Like I said at the beginning of the video, had tow trucks lined up from the gate all the way to the damn home. But unbeknownst to you, when shit going on, maybe somebody just gave him the cars. Maybe uh, Michael Jordan himself came in there and just said, huh, you, you can have these cars and stuff. Maybe the two fairy dropped them off. How in the hell did the mom not know and the brother? You know, we ain't worried about the brother. But the mom not know what your son do. You should have told your son. And one thing, and I'm sure you always raised just like this too with your parents. Over. If you do shit, don't bring that shit back here to this house. You ain't finna get me charged with possession and receiving stolen goods. Hell no, you don't want that damn charge. That's what your parents should tell you. You know, if you do something, keep that shit in the streets. Don't bring that shit back to my house. Let's finish your story. Now, this is the brother talking. I mean, did no money come in here? His brother, Terio Williams said, I mean, I didn't get none. Shit, I bet you were driving one of them cars around. But perhaps Williams ignored obvious signs like the vehicles that were towed away from their house on Thursday, which Turner is believed to have paid for with bad checks, with a bad damn check. And you know, one damn thing, when you get them damn bad checks, and some of y'all out there still writing, doing forgery and stuff and writing these damn hot ass checks, you better start writing them damn checks. The banks don't forget that shit. You have to pay that shit off before you open up another account. I don't care where you go. Now, Turner's alleged operation started to come tumbling down three weeks ago when it all falls down like Kanye West, when investigators became aware of a pattern. See, he got too greedy because he wanted more and more. It's just like somebody like that who want to go out here and sell drugs. What they do? I'm going to sell this just to uh, feed my daughter and, and, until I get by. Then they end up loving the money 
And guess what? They end up getting caught up, either getting killed or getting years in prison or whatever the hell else or getting robbed and got people looking to kill them. You feel me? Because people will rob you because they want what you got because you out here living that type of life. So you have to be aware of all that. Now, when investigators became aware of a pattern in the pattern internal daily payments to the state coupled with reversals due to insufficient funds and fraudulent accounts, they're like, you ain't got no money. You ain't got no collateral or anything to back this up. So how in the hell can we give you something? We ain't getting nothing. You feel me? Where's the product? Where's the merchandise at? Want to be greeted. The internal communicator over email this week when an investigator posing as a state account manager. That's why he messed up right there because when them boys come get you, they all in your email section. Trust me. When they be trying to get you caught up, they be all in your email shit and they be you don't have to even be doing shit. They just be trying to get you on some bullshit, incriminate you, seeing if, you, if you'll do this, see if you'll do that. Oh, yes, I'll be watching with both eyes open. My eyes are not wide shut like Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Let's go and continue. Now, Turner told the undercover agent that his accountant would sign for his state return at the Riverdale X business address because Turner said he was away in the United Kingdom. And big shout out to all my people in the UK. You all been such loyal supporters and stuff, just like my family. So big shout out to you all over there holding it down. Now, he said he was in the UK. No, the hell he wasn't. But rather than the state account manager that Turner expected, investigators showed up and he was taken into because they came up there ready. They went to every tow truck uh, place around town and said, follow me. I know the way. Leading up to the bus, a warrant was issued for Turner out of Henry County in November for allegedly cashing a fraudulent check for $18,000 at a SunTrust bank. You got to be one crazy ass guy. This guy could have just went on here and did YouTube video and eventually got some Amazon products and probably tried to sell them. If, if that wasn't uh, you know, some copyright thing dealing with Amazon, you can work that out with them. But uh, he was, he's a pretty smart guy, but he's kind of dumb. You know, you ever heard that saying, too smart for your own damn good? That's what Mr. Turner was. Just like Malachi Love, the doctor, with a fake doctor out of Florida. Very talented. Now, very talented. They never said that he was messing people up. The, uh, you remember the story I did, I think it was uh, earlier this year, and also last year I did two stories on Malachi Love that, uh, you know, the guy that was running the fake doctor uh, operation had a whole clinic and every damn thing. But they never said he messed people up. Like the doctor that was in Georgia, uh, the, the lady, the Caucasian lady that was messing people teeth up that supposed to be a dentist. So what I'm saying is that both of those guys was smart and could have actually, like Malachi's situation, could have been a doctor, Turner's situation, he could have been a real businessman. But ain't no future in your front, like MT Bree said. Let me go and close this story out. Now, he was also charged in January with financial fraud. In a separate case in Fulton County, the records show, unfortunately, in the past, we've seen people younger than him from all walks of life, just not to this extent, Josh Waite said, the state investigator said. So basically, they had people 10 years old hitting licks and shit. You feel me? You ain't never too young to jump off the porch and commit a crime. Not saying that you should, but hell, you heard it from Josh himself. Anyway, we did not lose any money in this scheme, which is a testament to the hard work of the people in the department. Listen to what the man is saying. Do I need to repeat this? I will. He said, we did not lose any money in this scheme, which is a testament to the hard work of the people in our department, which means in layman terms, they be on top of their game. They be on top of their shit. As the old folks say, you got to wake up early in the morning to fool me. Maybe if he would have did it around three or four in the morning, when he was just coming in there, wiping the coal out the eye, see who these making these transactions and why, he would have got off on it. But due to the fact he probably waited till 12, 1 o'clock in the evening, they was already ready. Had they cup of coffee. You know, you drink that coffee, you be on, on, you be on alert like a damn bird and shit. Every time you hear a noise, you be looking around. So they was already waiting on his ass. Now, an investigation into Turner's actions will take a look at the number of potential victims of his so-called business and alleged attempts to gain access to state funds, Waite said. So he did scam the victim, but he didn't scam the state. They're like, this is where the buck stops here at. Let me know what you all think about this video. It's a damn shame, mama, that you said that you did not know that your son, unbeknownst to you, was involved in any kind of criminal activity when he got seven, eight cars parked out damn side. Seven, eight damn cars. And one of them happened to be a nice-ass Hyundai Genesis, which is every bit of seven, eight, and ninety thousand dollars And that's just manufacturer, sell, retail price. That's not even including, you know, money that you would have to spend financing if you don't got the money to pay cash. So you're looking at, you're looking at all kinds of points where somebody should have came aware and be like, look, something is going wrong here. Stop letting your kids make you look like a damn fool. 
You know what I'm saying? If they're going to do shit, you can't stop them if they're grown. Don't let them come to your house with that shit. Because trust me, you're lucky they didn't try to incriminate you on any damn thing. But I guess, you know, they wanted him. They got him. And due to the fact that it was this amount of money, of course, he's going to have to pay a huge fine. They're going to give him jail or prison time or whatnot. But the point is, the guy, just like Malachi Love, the doctor from Florida, very talented, even though, you know, too good, too, too smart for their own good. But if they applied themselves in the right way, like Malachi, he could have been a, a real doctor. Turner, he could have been a real businessman. But this is what happened when you try to cheat and beat the system. You're not going to beat the system. Trust me. Everybody, a lot of, not everybody, a lot of people have tried it. And even those people, Al Capone, them, the Frank Nettis, all these people, they still get taken down. So what makes you think that you're going to beat this system, especially in the 21st century in this day and age when technology, they got all kinds of paper trails they can follow you, follow you up on them. I mean, let's be for real. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this story. If you like the story, push that like button. If you like the story, subscribe to the channel. And also make sure that you share the story with your family and friends who know their kids out here doing shit and still going to lie for them bastards. How the hell did you do that? It couldn't have been me. I would have been all upside his head. Even if I did know. I'm like, I told you don't let the police come in. I would have been all on his ass, whooping his ass up. You're going to embarrass me. I'm up here trying to cook my damn neck bones and greens. You got these people busting in my dough. Let me know what you all think about this and also what you would have done if that was your damn child. That's what I really want to know because I don't care. You 18 or not, you in my damn house, you still go by my rules. So for the mom to say that she did not know, unbeknownst to her, that these vehicles and that what he was doing was illegal, I find that pretty far-fetched and hard to believe. Let me know what you all think, though. Y'all have a nice day and stay warm because it's cold outside. I'm out. Yeah.